Doing your work for men like Stefan Demiro. Look, Dr. Evans, I appreciate you. I appreciate your concern. But it really was just a job. And none of that matters now anyway, because as soon as Stefan was arrested and Chad took over, his first act of business was to fire me. And does Sierra know that? She knew that I was fired, yeah. What I didn't get to tell her is that I was on my way to quit working for Stefan anyway because of her. I did it for her. Why didn't you tell her that? Because she didn't get me a chance to. By the time I was going to tell her, she was already upset with me about something else. About what? I made this stupid pact with Claire to break up Trip and Sierra. Not, not by like hurting them or anything, just manipulating them a little, I guess. It, it wasn't even a big deal, but... Sierra felt like I betrayed her. Understandable, don't you think? Dr. Evans. Sarah was the only one who believed in me and believed that I've changed. Even after everything her mother did trying to convince her that I set that damn fire at the cabin, she still believed in me. She still had my back. Just knowing that I'm worthy of someone's trust. It's made me feel like I could be a better person. Without her. Without Sierra in my life, I'm just... I'm afraid I could turn back into that monster that I was before. Private party? That's weird. Eli, are you here? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I thought this place was closed for a private party. Oh, it is. Hours. <laughs> I asked my grandmother if I'd be in a couple hours. To do what, exactly? Remember the other day you said that you could not take, and I quote, one more day of cold. And if you hadn't been sent, you'd be on the next flight back to Miami. Too bad I used up all my vacation days. I figured if you can't make it back to Miami, I'll bring a little Miami sunshine to you. <laughs> <laughs> this is your idea of Miami. <laughs> see. Does Mojito help? Yeah. <laughs> no? No, I don't know Ted. I've read about him. He represented that infamous serial killer, Ben, Ben, Ben Weston. Right, but that's him. Yeah. I can't believe they let that psycho free. Killed four people, didn't they? Three, actually. So how does Ted fit into all of this? Well, it, it turns out Ted and Leo were working together. My son was in cahoots with Ted Laro. Interesting. Working with me, huh? Planning on joining the police academy, counselor? <laughs> uh, no, not quite. But last night, Detective Grant mentioned that Melinda Trask had resigned. I started thinking. I may be a good fit for the job. You're a defense attorney.